Hello everyone. I hope you are doing great. In the last video I have discussed about measurement of linear displacement. Today I am going to have a brief discussion on how do you measure angular displacement. So if the channel is useful for you, I request everyone to subscribe and uh, I request you to share this particular content to your friends and colleagues. And one more request if you want to get the regular notification kindly press the bell button moving on to the session in this video i am going to give a brief overview about how do you measure angular displacement moving on to the session there are different methods to measure angular displacement the method of measurement of angular displacement are as follows you can use variable reluctance transducer Resistive potentiometer is also another simple method of measurement of angular mesh, angular displacement and you can depend variable inductive fuser and synchros is also a right choice for measurement of angular displacement and uh, you can make use of the capacitive transducers and uh, rotary variable differential transducer the short form is RVDT that is also a wise choice for the measurement of angular displacement just for your information the following topics which I mentioned here like resistive potentiometer, variable inductive transducer, synchros, capacitive transducer and RVDT have been already discussed in my previous classes. The video link is available in the description box of, description box of the same video. I request you to go through that particular video first. But I haven't uh, come up with a variable reluctance transducer. Today my intention is to explain what do you mean by variable reluctance transducer. Moving on to the discussion about variable reluctance transducer, I request everyone to pay the attention on the particular diagram. I will be introducing the diagram first. We have a cam shaped core. You can see the shape just like a cam shaped core. Uh, it is made up of a conductor, pure conductor. And uh, middle you can able to see a shaft. This is your shaft where the mechanical body or mechanical object has been connected over the shaft. I just marked over the and we have a single phase AC supply, single phase 230 volt 50 hertz supply is available here. And uh, here you can see two coils, L1 and L2 are the coils which are having the number of turns like N1 and N2 respectively. And both are connected in series but uh, the output will be the connection just like an opposite manner. So you can see how it has been connected. Both are series but in opposite direction. And you can see the output here you will be connecting the output across these two particular points. So this is your output, okay, EMO, you can see E, output. First of all, if the core is at the center of L1 and L2, then surely we will say that the induced EMO at L1 and L2, that is getting cancelled each other. The magnitudes are equal, but the direction is opposite. Therefore, uh, the EMO is getting cancelled each other. Suppose if the core is at center, uh, the induced EMO, across these particular coils are zero because e1 minus e2 e1 and e2 are same but in opposite direction therefore e minus e is nothing but zero that is the case number one let me tell you some other cases suppose if the core is upper or rotating in clockwise direction okay then you are able to get a certain emo so that will be in the positive direction you are able to get uh, the positive e positive e why? Because it is rotating in the clockwise direction. Then output will be like uh, E1 minus E2. E1 minus E2, the EMF will be having the positive. So let me write it as plus E. Plus E. If I talk about the rotation of cam shaped core in anti clockwise direction, uh, then uh, the difference, if I calculate the difference between E1 and E2, then I will be getting uh, the negative E. That means uh, the magnitude of voltage is negative. Correct? So that you can able to identify the displacement. Here, uh, the rotation, the displacement will be directly proportional to the output voltage. So that is known as variable reluctance transducer. So we are going to check clockwise and anti-clockwise direction. You can measure the displacement in clockwise and anti-clockwise direction. So this is a quite simple method. So you can make a summary that uh, the displacement will be directly proportional to the output voltage. Then you can able to predict it. Uh, the displacement will be in the uh, direction also you can able to predict because displacement is a vector quantity that you know. So this is regarding variable electrostance transducer. In this video I have discussed brief 
information about measurement of angular displacement may know any queries if you want to have more discussion about any particular topic you can put up in the comment box and uh, if you need a notes of this particular video i will share that notes which you mentioned your mail id directly i am going to share with your particular mail id so let me conclude the session thank you for your support and uh, uh, and i would like to say thanks for watching this particular video